I get the show. Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, shall we uh, discuss these ratings? Do I, need do, to hold any, to? do I need to hold anybody's hand, or what's going on here? Probably. Just keep an eye on the Twitch chat. Somebody's going to have something no, to say, I'm No, sure. no, 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 no. I, mm-hmm. I saw your timeline yesterday. Tempting. I know. Dude, I, I did not look at that for one second yesterday. <laughs> not for one man. second. So listen, if you haven't figured it out already, Joe Biden is the demo god. He destroyed everybody on cable. If you look at the top ten, Biden was seven of the top ten. If you add only the top 10 up, it was 21 million viewers. Everything else on cable took a big hit. And in fact, might as well make people really mad now. Uh, Dynamite took less of a hit than uh, many of these entertainment shows. If you take out the news shows that covered Biden, AW was third on cable behind an episode of The Challenge, which, what is this? I thought it was done. Maybe it's a recap show or something. Somebody help me out. And also an NBA game. And uh, overall, the show, quite frankly, did very well given the competition. 889,000 viewers, down 20% from last week. 18 to 49, 10th on cable with a .33. So the demo was barely down from a week ago. It was down 10%. And uh, the story of the show is that everybody was watching Biden, and so it started at about 800,000 viewers. And it was roughly 800,000 viewers throughout the entire show. It did grow for the inner circle parlay with the pinnacle and uh had some bloke on the twitch chat yesterday arguing with me about the darby ellen match shouldn't have gone on last i said bro darby ellen does great not against 10 well i hate to tell you darby ellen does great and the match with 10 was i believe the highest rated thing on the show and uh did very very well so darby allen in the main event against 10 did in fact do a great number so next week obviously is blood and guts and my guess is that uh barring some disaster that takes away all of the uh, attention to the news shows it will probably do well over 1 million viewers uh perhaps well, i don't want to make a guess but i've had people and this by the way is people in wwe who normally are overjoyed if if AEW does not do well thinking it could do 1.5 million viewers so We'll see what it does, but those are the numbers. If you have a hard time wrapping your head around that, there are plenty of places to go on the internet that can explain to you that in the 80s, Hulk Hogan actually wasn't a draw, and the Crockett territory was actually doing significantly better. Those are good places to go. That may be where you want to hang out. Well, it depends on where and when you're talking about. Because when WWF came into Charlotte in 1985, they got pushed out. But that doesn't really matter right now because WWE won. And they're not winning when it comes to some of their, you know, star-making capabilities. But what has been proven from AEW is, to their fans, they have definitely created stars in the time that they've been around. One of the biggest ones is Darby Allen, Regardless of what you think about his character or how he wrestles or any of that stuff, Darby Allen is a legitimate star, period, and point blank. And when it comes to the numbers, yeah, it's stark on paper because it goes from 1.2 million to 1.1 million to 889,000. But as we have pointed out many times, there seems to be a direct line between AEW fans and when something is happening in the news. They are more apt than, say, the average NXT viewer to turn on the news and leave wrestling on their DVR for a night or two. You know what I mean? So this is not a big deal whatsoever. There was no bragging coming from anybody from WWE because they know. Number one, their show didn't do all that great this week. When it came to NXT, they were down. So there's no nothing to brag about here if you're trying to throw arrows at AEW. Look in your own backyard and clean that one up. But when it does come to AEW, neg- what a perfect week to have a presidential address where you're going to have a little bit of a down week because look what you're coming back with. And I don't think Cinco de Mayo is going to damage this show all that much considering what's on it. So, you know, I... I Again, I hopefully this just ends any conversation about ratings today. Nobody brings it back up later on because what else can you say? Both NXT and AEW were good shows. They both didn't draw the ratings that they wanted to. On to next week. My wife is locked out. Why don't you go? Uh, I think I may have to go down there, there and uh, probably and help. Yes. Yeah. So why don't you uh, uh, talk about uh, whatever you want to talk about? 
Actually, talk about SmackDown tonight, the potential last match of Daniel Bryan. I'll be right back, everybody. Time to be a hero by unlocking the door. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.